Hey everyone, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about star charts because we're just wrapping up the first quarter and it's getting to that point where star charts are becoming very um, useful if you choose to use them. One time I waited till the end of the year and realized I'd made the mistake of not using my star chart and that's probably the longest into the summer we've done school. We don't do school throughout the year. I like my breaks. So if mama wants her breaks, then the kids get their break too. So here is what a star chart looks like. I have my oldest and my youngest in school. There's star charts with me right now. So math, um, well, she actually does math paces. So here's what you want. It's got a star chart has four different quarters in it. And every quarter you want three stars in it. Okay. So she's doing pretty good. This down here is a Spanish college course that she's taken that she gets a star when she takes a test and that helps her get on level. So we've started counting those, but these are, she takes a Bible, uh, New Testament, I think is what she's doing. And then I think she's in world history. She finished biology. So I think she's taking chemistry now. Um, she doesn't have literature or etymology, English and math. She's doing business math for math. So here you can tell she got a little bit behind in math. So she needs to do three, she needs to do four math stars this quarter. So if we miss that and she only does three or two, then down here, it's going to become more important for her to do that. So this is a perfect example of how I don't think she's failed any math paces, but maybe they're a little bit longer. So doing five pages every day isn't quite cutting it for her. So I just need to talk to her about that. Um, and I should have done that when I went through, actually, maybe we're missing a star. Anyway, when I went through the, at the nine, end of the nine weeks and went through a progress, like this should have come up as a, Hey, we're a little bit behind on this. We need to get on top of this. Um, as you can see, green stars, I think we're missing one right here. Um, so we need to look at that and see why we're missing that and everything else she's on track. So for younger grades, it's going to look a lot different. Oh, and for us, we do big stars, which are really hard to find. Um, big stars, if they get 100, and little stars, if they get, which the little ones are the ones that come with the ACE kit. So little stars, if they get a uh, 99 and a half or below. So if they do a spelling mistake or they leave off a comma, sorry, my, my baby is grunting in the background. But if they leave off a comma on the verse, it is so hard. But that, that's a 99 and a half because that's, that's a half a point off. If they spell something wrong or leave a comma off or a period or whatever it may be so this little one she's six years old and so she's going through really fast i'm trying to get her through a year and a half because um i stopped her life just happened and in the middle of the year i went ahead and stopped her so to get her where she starts a new grade every year um i need to try to do a little bit less than a year and a half and she is flying as you can see on some of these so word building, she doesn't need to be going very fast in. So we slowed down on that. English, she's doing just fine. I think she's in the next grade already. So in the, in three semesters, I want her to do 12 paces, which is going to be just fine for her. She's extremely smart. So you can see that she's doing it. You know, here it was every week. Then every other week she's testing. So she's just flying through just fine and getting hundreds to boot. I think these were... This one was a 99, this is a 97. So she's doing super good. And then on math, she's doing Saxon math. So I'm, I'm always struggling with stars in Saxon math, second grade and third grade because they do assessment, so they don't do test. And so I started giving her stars for test because she's trying to get on level, which if you wanna know my level video, I did that recently. You can look that up because I'm not fancy and put things on my screen to tell you where to click because I don't know how to do that. So these, I've explained these several times. These Bible stars stickers are the ones that come and ACE tells you to have your kids memorize. I don't even know how many it is. Nine, nine verses every three weeks or something like that. We do two verses every week. And if you say it on a Monday or Tuesday, you get this cool, let's see if I can focus on that eagle sticker so it's like an eagle and the christian flag and then the bible and it just looks really cool you know in comparison 
So if you'd say it on a Monday or Tuesday, that used to be the only reward my kids would get was the cool sticker, which I think you can get from ACE. And then, then we kind of changed because this year we're, we're really doing the levels a lot more. And so for E level, I think you have to say it on a Monday or Tuesday. So if you have a Bible, if you have, you know, 20 stars here that qualifies you for it, you only need three I think for e-level so even if you have five stars and you have that bible sticker you can't get on level even if you've said the report and everything so it has to be one of these stickers so usually just the stickers alone will motivate them because they really like the eagle one and then my girls get all where they want all eagle well actually all of my kids they want all eagle so Tuesday as school's wrapping up they're trying really hard to say it um, this year, that's been a little bit harder. Just we've had a lot more on our plate. So I think everybody but one has had a Bible, just a plain Bible sticker. Um, anyway, just stickers can can really motivate. I remember hearing one, I think she was a second grade teacher, and she was saying that she could get her kids to do anything for Fruit Loop. And this is uh, public school kids. And so I thought, really? They'll do anything? Like, I'll do anything for Fruit Loop. But to have little kids do that too is really cool. So they just little things like that that can help you motivate your kids. You know, if you get let it when they're doing something that's really tricky, if you say, Hey, okay, get this done and then we're gonna take a break or get this done get this page done and let's go get a glass of ice water and, you know, try to stand on our head or something fun like that can be really easy. I don't do that stand on my head thing anymore because I have so many kids it turns into like a natural disaster in my living room people falling on top of each other but there's a lot of fun things that you can do just even I've even done things where I said okay if you say you can't this was when my kids were younger if you say you can't then I get to put ice down your back and so one of the kids was like I can't do this and I was like oh and they started laughing and giggling and I went and got the ice cube and stuck it down their back and they're squealing and it just kind of breaks up the oh this is so hard and and then you can get back at it and uh say don't say I can't again remember what happens and it just makes it kind of fun so that is star charts I hope that helps people especially if you haven't started it using star charts before you can start at any quarter it is nice for the whole year um they do make a difference i'm sure there's other ways that you can chart it but since this comes with the kit it seems easy easy enough for me and it's what i used as a kid so hope that helps somebody out there have a great fall